Ready to go. <clears throat> we call to order the March uh, meeting for building and planning and BZA. Uh, to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> um, quickly, did everybody get their February minutes and get a chance to look at them? Wasn't a whole lot on there. It was a quick meeting last month. Um, anybody got any additions or anything? If not, we'll look for a motion to approve the February minutes. I'll motion it. Got a second. I'll second. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. 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 And opposed? Thank you. Um, we have uh, Ryan Lemmy Lindley. Is that right, Lindley? Correct, yes. Yeah. Uh, he's with the Hendricks County Parks and Recreation Board. He wants to talk about the Vandalia Trail and uh, get some input from us, I believe, on what we think the right place to go and the right way to go and uh, that kind of thing. So I'm going to turn the floor over to you. Alrighty. Let me first present some maps here if I can do that. <coughs> yeah, I don't know if you can. Yeah, I can that. probably pull that up. Where did you put together there on Just Google? Minimize the right there on there. Yeah, that's for Google or uh, I don't use it. No, close it. Minimize oh, it. Oh, close it. I'm sorry. Another easy representation would be on B. There we go. There you are. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Yeah. And we're scattered. Yeah. Okay. Who knows what copies of this? Thank you. Here, here. Probably more. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe make sure you get both of them because we have a Vandalia Trail and a Vandalia Trail to Clayton. There's two different maps. Yeah. 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 First off, I am the superintendent of the department, so I'm representing our board today. Um, I do appreciate the opportunity to be here today and kind of to present our desire for Vandalia Trail expansion. Um, I arrived in 2019, and I think there were some meetings that transpired uh, prior to me getting here, maybe in this town hall, uh, local input meetings. But uh, probably, as, as you're aware, uh, we currently have an existing trail that's four miles long. It goes through, um, meets up to People's Pathway in, in Putnam County. That's a aggregate line trail. We have four miles of trail that connects to Putnam County. That county line, it goes through the town of Coatesville and to Amo currently. Uh, the ultimate plan is to connect to Plainfields Trail. They got a next level trails grant uh, to expand this way towards the west. Our immediate goal um, would be about a two mile swath uh, from Lambert Park, if you folks are interested in that. And then it would go uh, two miles to the west. Uh, we almost have two miles of continuous land. There's a Pringle parcel that's highlighted on your map we did not have access to. That comes out on County Road 500 South. Uh, we're still working with them. They're somewhat opposed to the trail. Our right of way of agent is uh, Beam Longest and Neff, Ryan Buckley. So he has communicated with everybody at this point to the west, the remaining landowners that we have. Uh, there is a um, Edmondson parcel in there, and we have acquired that. Bob Brenneman is the legal spokesman for that parcel. I've not personally met Bob, but our right-of-way agent does, and he um, came on board with that. Uh, we want to be good neighbors uh, when we install the trail, so if we have to incorporate certain things in the grant as far as concrete aprons for farm access, for driveway, uh, tree screenings, uh, anything that uh, makes us be good neighbors, we, we want to do. So right now we have uh, two trailheads at Coatesville and Amo. We would like to connect the trail to Lambert Park. Uh, one of your maps will highlight our originally proposed plan, which has a lot of hurdles to overcome. Uh, Jeff was gracious enough to talk to uh, the Moraine family, and I have not met them personally either, uh, but I think they are opposed to going on that original path. Um, I will say that my house, I've owned two acres in Briarwood Estates, uh, very rarely, if at ever, have I had any issues. I've had some 
uh, folks of need that have gotten into my backyard one time. But other than that, my, my house property butts right up to Vandalia Trail. I've never had any issues, and I enjoy having that. Obviously, I'm the superintendent of the department, too. Um, right now, we have about 27,000 people using our trail. We've got some infrared counters, the four-mile swath. We think that will drastically increase. We did see a huge increase through COVID also. Um, so if we're able to connect to Lambert Park on the existing two miles, uh, we have applied for Governor Holcomb's uh, next level trails um, grant program and we're just so close to getting it uh, we we have too many voids to go connective to the town of Amo uh, but if we can put that two mile section in that can it would connect to Lambert Park uh, a lot of our points in that accrual process for that grant would um, be check marked so you get you accrue points in a variety of manners one of those is if you connect to a local park or a, a small town you accumulate more points for that grant uh, it is our goal uh, to be successful in a grant here in the near future. A large reason I'm coming to you folks today is to present, give a little history, but see how, uh, see your interest in this, obviously, to get it to Lambert Park. And secondly, um, see how we can connect. What are your recommendations to connect? Um, I know Jeff had mentioned, I think it's Michigan Street, uh, and we have a variety of ways we could do that, um, like a pedestrian or bike lane that would go along the road. Uh, I've been on that numerous times, including this evening. My only real concern is that 90 degree. Um, I am supportive of putting sidewalks in also, or larger sidewalks, but a lot of those residents on that 90 degree bend are just so close. I don't want to impede on their property. Uh, but I do want to see this come together. I've worked on... Uh, well, we opened a new park in Avon in uh, 2021. That's been my big priority. We're going to continue to develop that WS Gibbs Memorial Park. But this is this is number two on our list for, for, for myself, our team, and our park board. Um, when I got here, our park board purchased the Buck Arnold property. Many of you are probably aware of that. It's a narrow strip. We do have a local resident that uh, is our tenant farmer for that. It's Eric George. He was the farmer also for uh, Buck Arnold. So we've continued to get that in crop lease. We do generate some money. We're working with Mill Creek School on getting a sanitary sewage line in, uh, an easement on that. That'll be a topic tomorrow. Um, but the Buck Arnold property was around 67 acres, so that was gave us about 3.1 miles of the four-mile swath between Amo and Clayton. Um, we do expect the next level trails, uh, next, the round four process, the official timeline is not known, but... Folks at DNR have told me it'll probably open this summer and close this fall. Um, again, we want to be good neighbors. If we go through the proposed path, so that's the angled path through the town of Clayton, I have, that is what Greg Midgley wanted with National Road Heritage Trails. That's what our park board originally picked out. My concerns, um, I've been at this <laughs> trying to procure land and it's not the easiest thing. Uh, especially for a trail in a, in a rural area. I understand that, I'm, I'm sensitive to those needs. Um, but nonetheless, I know there's a lot of hurdles to overcome if we're going on that particular route. So in my eyes, um, that Michigan Street seems like a, a viable option, but um, I guess at this point, I'll, I'll shut up and let you all tell me what, what you think's uh, achievable. Well, I think, and I'm just going to speak as a landowner because what you have marked here as the town of Clayton isn't, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and he's the other one. Okay. Yeah, uh, we, we both straddle Iowa Street. I okay. own the equipment repair and he owns the auto shop next door. Fantastic. And okay. we, we have had concerns about this from the standpoint of traffic up and down that trail with what we do for a living. Mm -hmm. um, I know everybody says well, we haven't had any trouble. The problem is... I knew Ob Stanley and the family there in Plainfield, and they had had trouble okay. with their trail. Um, so that makes me a little apprehensive. The other side of that is I think going to Michigan Street, I, I'm for that. We, we talked about that before. We think utilization of the park is the best mm -hmm. opportunity. The other side of that is it brings people through or downtown, whether you come down 39 or a side street and we use a bike path, whatever you it brings people through our downtown in an area where they're more likely to visit the stores we have here if we get our restaurant back eventually, um, those sure. kinds of things. Uh, the food store just for a Coke or something to drink if you're riding your bicycle or walking or whatever. Yep. Um, that, I, that's a much, to me, is a much more viable option. I want to add to that, not just the concern of, 
unwanted foot traffic, people vandalizing, whatever. <clears throat> like I tried to tell the last guy that was out here, just explain to him, my concern was, is they say they, they only want 10 feet, then it goes 20 feet, then it goes the whole 100 feet. Well, you do that, what about all the buildings that are sitting on that, my building in particular? Mm-hmm. And I told him, I said, I'm, I'd be willing to sell on two conditions. You have to buy it all, you have to find me a similar property, you have to get the, what, three conditions, I guess. You have to, <laughs> you have to get the county zoning to allow me to operate as a, the same business that I'm operating at and not harass me for the business that I'm in because I know their standpoint on towing and record services. Um, and they have, were completely unaware that there was even any building structures on that property at all. Okay. So, yes, there are a lot of hurdles to try to run it down that way. Oh, sure. I'm with Rob because at that time I suggested to Rob and to that gentleman, why don't we run down Michigan Street? Mm-hmm. We, that way you come to the front side of the park, you see the town hall, you see everything down there. Yeah. So you have to, I mean, it's not just people who own the ground. It's you know, the Moraines would be... <clears throat> they're an established business. It'd be a, really easy to move a couple grain bins. I mean, it would take time and labor, but it's not like you're trying to cut my building in half. Sure. Basically, sure is what would happen. So that would completely stop my business from even operating mm-hmm. at that point in time. Um, and I know, looking at the map at that time, there were some houses or something, garages or something, that other people have built onto there, and they're so you're going to try to cut their 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 structures in half to run a trail you know through there that was the that was a big concern of mine mm-hmm. um, and that was why I suggest that they're robbing them that we run down Michigan Street somehow we get it mm-hmm. however the town can do it and we could do it it would it would make more sense to run them around that way um, I know that Greg Midgley with National Road Heritage Trails uh, Jeff was generous to meet with both of us I don't know about a month and a half ago in our office mm-hmm. um, Greg had really has a desire to keep the original path um, I do too, but I'll be honest, I want to get this done. I want to check mark it, and if it's in a different form and fashion that works for everybody, I think that's the that's the ultimate goal for us. So. But the, the original path running through a swamp is not always the idea. <laughs> no. You know, that's, that's the problem. And that's what I don't think everybody, you know, that railroad really changes elevation as it came through town there because there used to be a depot on the property I, I own, and uh, it drops almost 12 feet from where Tony's property starts to mine and the ditches and the water that comes down there, there's gonna be a lot of buildup. I mean, I just, it's just not a real feasible when you start looking at, to, to me and several of the other landowners, where it's like, look, why would you put it in this hole? Mm-hmm. You know, um, we already have drainage issues down here that they've been trying to work on. You know, and we've got backfill concrete on the other side behind him and the other where they backfilled concrete from some old buildings to bring the level up and now you do any excavation at all back there and you're dealing with pieces of concrete two and three foot square bigger six than foot that. long well they're yeah. as big as a car back there yeah so, the, the drainage you're talking about it would be <coughs> surface drainage but that would be west of the buck Arnold, old buck Arnold property yeah. it was you enter no, town. east of the buck Arnold. east of the buck Arnold. yeah okay. running into town okay, okay. Yeah. all right yep. yeah um, basically, when you know Iowa Street here drops, mm-hmm. um, it's gotten a lot better. I mean, when I first moved into town with my business, uh, we get a two-inch rain and you could float buoys out there in the roadway. Yep. It was that deep. It's now not like that. We fixed a lot of things, but we just got a lot of issues in that area. And you go putting a trail in, and if we start having other issues, we're just going to be back in there. And I don't think it shows the best part of the town. That's the other side of. It. I look at this trail as a marketing thing. Mm-hmm. If people come into town to park and they ride their bicycles and they ride maybe from here to Amo or Amo to here, whatever they do, or they walk or whatever. I want them to see the best part of our town, not not the, the back side of our town. And I don't mean to say that, that that's where we are, but we're repair shops. Mm-hmm. So what we do isn't pretty. I sure. mean, I, it's just the nature of the business. So um, so that's that's kind of one of our, our major concerns. I, I like the Michigan Street idea. I don't know what everybody else's opinion is. I realize we have some challenges up that short street. I don't even know the name of that street that runs from Moraine's to Michigan. That's all Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, all yeah. Michigan. Michigan comes along here and then it turns right. south. This is still Michigan. Oh, okay. That's why they kept it the same name. Because they kept it Michigan Street. So I guess, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. So, so I guess the question. Um, but here's this is Lambert Park. Right. So, and then this is uh, what used to be uh, Buck Arnold's property that right. they bought from him. 
and they own. I thought that was Charlie. And so they they want to bring that trail in from Amo to here. Right. And then they're that's what they're asking us is where do we go from here? So the original plan was to continue sure. along back here in that ditch. Right. Which it it would need tons of work. Sure. Because it is my my house sits right over here. Okay. And it I mean it's full of mosquitoes and yeah, weeds amazing. and all that stuff. So it would take an extensive amount of fixing up, which isn't impossible. It's just that's what mm -hmm. that would be. So, and it doesn't really go through the park. There's, this is a, this is part of that drainage ditch. So you would have to build, we'd have to cut down a bunch of trees and build a section of that, that goes into the park if you're really wanting to connect it to the park. Just going here isn't, Connecting it to the park necessarily, and I was aware of that. Which, yes. if if you turn and follow Michigan, which is there are some challenges to that also, because mm -hmm. that's a super narrow road. Yep. Right? And then come around this way. Now the sidewalk starts here on the south side of the road. There is not a sidewalk on the north side of the road until here by Stevens Pond. Mm -hmm. but, you have to cross. <laughs> Again, those are other <laughs> obstacles that we have to deal with. So that connects the park. This is our um, larger shelter at the park, and then our playground equipment's here. So again, you're not really into the middle of the park or anything, but you're more visibly connected, I think. Sure. In that part, but that's just, I don't know, I don't know if anybody else has. How much right away do we have as a town? How, do we have any right away for sidewalk on the short piece and around the 90 at all? Good question. <laughs> okay. And that was my other Very approach. Good question. If we continue down 500 south, which I don't think we're going to do that, that was my third question is could we use the easement there? But I, I, mean, I think that Michigan Street, DNR is concerned with 500, with the whole county road because the speeds people reach oh, on it. I mean, they 55, 60 miles an hour, hopefully not through the town of Clayton. No, it just drops right there at the edge, though. I mean, but yeah. people do fly, so. Well, that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else have thoughts, questions? My concern is if you're going to take, try to take it back around on Michigan Street, there's a lot of people that use horses on that trail, isn't there? That's a very and, valid point. I have that on here. And you've got, you've got horse nests on the streets. I mean, so the and then you've also got thirty nine. You're going to pull people around, and you're going to have people out on thirty nine for quite a ways from Michigan on on out of town until you hook back up to where you've got the trail that will go on to Plainfield then. Mm -hmm. So the equestrian trail is not part of our application for this to extend. Okay. So what, it, it was my understanding, this is past information that I've received upon my arrival here, is that Clayton did not want the equestrian trail. I'll be honest, we do have some problems, and they're not huge problems, but we connect to Putnam County uh -huh. and come through. Um, the, the problems are the ownership and, how do I say this? Uh, the involvement with the equestrian trail, well, once it was up, it was, oh, it's Henderson County Parks to maintain. Um, so we have decided our park board, we are just going to expand from Amo to Clayton. It would just be the 10 foot wide asphalt path. Okay. There wouldn't be a separate equestrian path. Okay. And so how will you put a 10 foot path on Michigan Street? It, it would have to be narrowed down in that area. It would have to be have you, I don't know if you've seen like the, the bicycle or pedestrian lanes on the side of a road. That's kind of what I envision. Um, that is going to have to get DNR's approval and support. Um, there's just no way to really put a sidewalk in there. I don't know if we can expand the side, the shoulders of the road through that, uh, through that 90 degree there. Um, but I know there are some hurdles there. I just think that's probably the best path we have to, to make it happen. And that would mean that we would have to, to buy land from all those people down Michigan Street? Well, if you look at the if Beacon on all those people around the corner and, and Moraines, they all shows owning to the middle of the road. It, it goes back to what's in the easement for the road. What's the road right away? The, pa the pathway? The, 
correct. You know, you, it's going to take some legal work to figure out exactly what the town owns because that's the old style of, of plotting where you would own to the middle of the road and then the roadway would take up a prescribed. So the town of Clayton doesn't own off the roadway at all? Uh, I don't Not know what the scenario oh, is okay. through there. It's, wow. It's because of how the town was planted because my building down here on Iowa Street is to the middle of the road and his isn't across the street. And that, okay. That is true. That's, true. that's new to me. So. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Up to this point. Over. See, I live right, right where he's Here, pointing. I live across over, the street. Mm -hmm. We own that road. Yeah. yeah. So from yeah. from this part, yeah, that part over this way. This to this the has east, this has his typical city, road. city right that's away. The town of yeah. Clayton's yeah. property. So well. the only real way to find out exactly what the road right away is is is, is getting up somebody in there and going pulling the deeds and looking at the yeah. the actual easement that that's on. And then you'd have to run a survey through it. You have to do all the legal survey work and stuff like that for it. Now, the only other question that I've just thought of, because you were pointing up there, those three parcels, I know one or two of them are sold. Yes, but like I said, they're not, they, they already I have a setback. They do. Right. They do. The, my, my thought, though, to that was if we put a new sidewalk in there, I don't know what start plan would be to do construction, but let's just say the people don't have their houses built yet because they're still waiting on lumber to come down or whatever it is they're waiting on. And you guys, and they put it. You guys put a new sidewalk in for whatever reason. Even if it's a nice sidewalk, let's say it needs to be wider or something. Yep. We put the sidewalk in, and then they go build their house. Then we got to come back. I assume they would have to come back and cut that back out and re-apron it for their drive. Sure. To go in once their drive goes in. That is the only potential problem I just thought of. You know, if we change that sidewalk, and they go to build their houses after the fact, then they have to fix it themselves. I would assume. And that could be part of our, our grant process is in, installing nice sidewalks. We would cover that through part of the grant. Um, obviously, that's pending my park board approval there when I go back to right. them. But, but as you, I mean, you get plenty of room in the park to put a wide. You know, we can come, we can come back into the park with a five foot sidewalk or six foot sidewalk without any trouble. For the most part, I don't see anything there that's. Well, and I do know, being that I live right there. At where that sidewalk starts, there are a lot of people that will walk right to the end of that sidewalk yeah. every night and turn, and turn around and walk right back. Oh, really? And they already and they don't have a problem crossing, you know, going from one side of the street to the other where it crosses down there by the pond. Mm -hmm. They just walk and go right across it, and then you know, because traffic isn't horrible. No, that's not. not right through there. I mean, it's not. And it's twenty five mile an hour zone. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be. There would have to be uh, related safety signage put up. Our current trail was built off, built off federal highway standards. If we get it through next level trails, Governor Holcomb's, that would be more of a state standard, mm -hmm. which simplifies the process for us, but there still has to be highway standard signage uh, marking on the road, however we would proceed to do with that. I'd almost think you would stay on the west part of, of Michigan as you first hit Michigan and then come around the corner and stay on the north side and then cross into the park. Well, that's what I'm wondering is, is if possible you might be able to get some right of way off Bob Brownman on that field. It'll just be once you get to Kilman's in the corner that could be the as you come back. And that's okay down that way but what about when you get that back up towards 39? Well, right. Once you come to 39 tanks. you're going to have to put well, I mean we'll have I'm sure there'll be flashing lights and everything else once we get there yep. if it's a trailhead. What is that? Kentucky? Yes. I think that's how we were talking about dropping down and then oh. going out on Kentucky. Coming out down right here. Correct. That's what. That's and then what, come back out. Yeah. That way they're not coming south on 39. Correct. That's what Jeff and I had discussed. But again, that's that's more long term goal than than the immediate future. But doesn't 39 on that? Your goal is to get to Lambert Park initially. Correct. Getting east of town is not the immediate. It is not. No, that's fine. I yeah. just, they just want to make sure everybody understands. Yeah, I do, my, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> well, my question for you, as far as just to that aspect, what's the difference if they do make the corner right here? And, I mean, you've got the 39, the state just put in great big wide sidewalks right there. So if you brought them out right here and hung, hung your right, that's a huge sidewalk that the state just put in, what, a year or two, a couple years ago? Nah, and longer, you think? Whatever, I don't know, they all run together, but <laughs> that's a real wide sidewalk and then it comes up to the four way right there for them to cross. Yeah, you'd want to stay. You know what I mean? You don't have you have a You'd want to stay on the north side of, 
of that going east though because the trails are going to go you don't want to cross Iowa 39 again at the, you know, right at the other corner you know, eliminate that yeah but see, I don't think we, we don't yes. have do we have yeah we got sidewalks going down in front of the it gets pretty narrow as you get to down the, to the to the corner it, right. it gets you're gonna have to add as you get down to that but point. what he's telling us is this this once they reach here they are that's what their another project is is once oh, they get to Lambert Park I understand I was just and the future projects would go further as Plainfield comes this way is what they're you're probably looking at trying to meet correct so we haven't even we haven't even I've met with one landowner as we go east uh, out of town it's been several years ago the McRae brothers I may not be pronouncing that properly McRae McRae brothers um, McRae Macri. Macri? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's Macri. been several years ago, yeah. right when I started. Okay. But we haven't sent out letters to those landowners. It's it's on our radar, our, our right of way agent, to do that just to initiate conversation with them. As we all know, this stuff like this just takes time. So No, I get it. Yeah. What would be your proposed time to do that? To how many do how many years? So let's just say we can you get the grant money or whatever lined up to put that section of trail in. What's your time frame from today to get the grant money or the monies together and then actually have construction break ground and be completed? On the phase we're talking about today? Yes, yes. Okay. I would like to submit an application. I think it's going to be this fall uh, to DNR. Again, Governor Holcomb hasn't came out with that announcement, uh, but that's what the DNR representatives I've talked to, they think that application process would come out summer, early fall, be due late fall, early winter of this year and then awards would probably be the following spring. Uh, our grant can be written in a variety of ways, but typically you have up to a two to three year window to complete the grant. You accrue more points the quicker you get the grant done. Um, we are still developing WS Gibbs Memorial Park. We, we developed 70 acres of it, opened it up. So we're getting a maintenance hub in there this year. We're gonna get an office in there, hopefully uh, sometime that following. So. Again, this would be a priority for us. This would be something, if we get the grant, um, it should start con general construction in 2023 and be finished in 2024. But again, that's that's pending. I understand. Everything I, was just curious oh, what yeah. the, I was just curious, are we talking in the next year or two, or are we talking five years out? Yeah. yeah. You know, for... We just did our comprehensive master plan in-house last year. Uh, we did that. Uh, we, when we were opening a new park, but we did that in-house. Our assistant superintendent did it, and I will say we learned a lot. It was a valuable experience. It saved us about $70,000. But expanding the Vandalia Trail is number two on the list, and as we checkmark things at WS Gibbs Memorial Park, it's gonna quickly become number one on our list. So obviously, um, as part of this grant packet, and I still need additional input, see if we can and make this happen and get support, support from you folks. Um, letters of support from, from maybe the council town president, all that helps us out. Uh, accruing points on our application, there's a, a wealth of the ways to accrue points, and that would be one and of them. Wouldn't some of them people at Michigan Street have to be on board with that as well? We're going to be within the right of way. It's not like we're going to take anything from them. I was just thinking, if it's six again and half a dozen other, if you're worried about vandals past your businesses. No, I get what you're saying. I mean, the same thing could happen to them citizens on that street. You know? I'm one of them. Well, you're two of them because you got this. No, here. I'm one of them there. I don't have to move. If they if they want to run the trail down there, it's I'm going to be, right I'm gonna be quite home. honest. Yeah. You guys are going to buy a property out, and it's going to cost Nick you dearly. Yeah. I mean, because no, no, you'll cut you'll cut my building in half. I understand. To the park. Park. You're not one of those houses, are you? Yeah. Yeah. He is. Okay. Yeah. The so where the sidewalk ends right there. Here. Okay. That's, that's my house right here. Okay, on the north side. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why I know everybody walks up and down there. <laughs> so, so on the land acquisition, whether that be an easement, outright purchase, the way we we conduct that is two independent appraisals, and then it's fair market value. So probably coming through your business is not going to happen if you want more than fair market value. Well, it's not just that. Yeah. It's the cost of downtime, how long it takes me to find another business and all that. That's not just a piece of property. If it was just a piece of property, then yeah, it's bare ground, mm -hmm. like farm ground. But when you have a operating business and you've got five employees and everybody depends on their paycheck, 
I can't pay them if we're not doing work. Understandable. Um, that's the biggest concern that I've had since they presented the idea and they didn't, the guy with the big old plat book or map book um, that's in charge of the trail didn't even know that any of that was on there and it was surveyed. And I'm like, who, who well, was that? I, I don't remember. It's been years. I just remember the conversation because they come and talk to the, it was a town council meeting. They came and talked to the councils before you were on. Gaddy was here. Gaddy yeah, was here and, he, and I just happened to sit next to him by happenstance, and they gave up, gave us um, talking points and everything to everybody. And then when he sat down, he was kind of just flipping through it, and I, and I leaned over and I said, I said, so what are you going to do about the buildings that are on the businesses, the actual buildings, the structures that are there? I'm like. And he's like, well, there ain't none on there. And I go, oh, open that book up and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. I said, this one's mine. And you got this one here. And we went right down through his book. And I said, if that's lined up, which I know where mine's at because I've had to have it surveyed. Um, I said, it's you You can buy it, but you got to buy it all. You mm. ain't buying half the building. Sure. You know, and <laughs> he didn't realize it. He said, I had never seen that before. And I'm like, you got the book. Drive around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sunday's Captain Obvious doesn't. <laughs> but no, that's that's my biggest thing about to answer your question. That's my biggest thing. The the vandal part of it is, it is what it is. You got crime rate anyways. It just makes it easier for people to steal catalytic converters, batteries, and wheels off of cars that are sitting there. If mm -hmm. they got a, if they got a trail, they can hop right on and zip right out of town. Because if you especially if you're going down. Even if you were to cut all those trees down in your redway, you still got trees yeah. outside of it. It's a hidden so path. it's a hidden path for people mm -hmm. to be able Cover. to. Yeah, it's easy for them to grab it and go versus walking out in the open out there. Now, we already have people walking down around that, anyways. Mm -hmm. So did you buy? Did you buy part of that railroad ground there then? I got my fifty foot. Yes, I had to because the building's sitting on it. I didn't think your building came over that far. It does. It, it does. Easily, easily. Yes. Yeah, when Franco built that, it it's Franco. He threw it up. Yeah. Well, Franco just didn't go through and get his 50 foot like he should have. Mm -hmm. And like some of the other landowners already have. And So what, what we witness on, on trails, and this is 100% honesty, um, like the town of Coatesville, do we have some minor problems with use at our trailhead along our trail? But I think that honestly existed in town limits before we put the trail in. Uh, Jerry Decker, I've worked with him on a regular basis. Again, we want to be good neighbors. We had a drainage issue at the sewage treatment plant. That was a $250,000 project we fixed as soon as I got here. In your rural areas, so obviously if somebody's walking, they're not going to carry a case of beer with them, or they're not going to steal your grill. They may, they may see what you have, but... They're not going to do that now in town limits. We are going to have some some minor problems. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> and I, I will say, and I, I hope everybody in the room uh, supports this. I know there's different views on it. It is good for small communities. It connects. It gives our smaller businesses, our restaurants. It'd be great to see Clayton Cafe get opened back up, uh, increased attendance, um, and and bring more people in here. A lot of the high density trails are where more of the issues occur, not in the rural areas. No, and I, and I get, I just, I just, I think, I think if you're going to have a trail go through your town, you need to show the best of your town, not the back side of your town. Mm -hmm. you know, I just, that's, I wouldn't want to run a trail through the south side of Chicago, you know, <laughs> and that's valid. And that's, that's just the biggest thing I see. I think you run it past the park, we connect to the park, which I think is great. Uh, it gives us a place, people a place to park, to start or stop. I think that's a great idea. We have restrooms there. Mm -hmm. you know, there's just all those services that I think are a very valid, useful piece to that. And I, I, I think that's a good idea. I don't, I don't, I'm not against the trail. I just want to make sure it goes through the best parts. You know, I, I have yet to figure out why somebody gets on a trail that's basically a big long line. Anyway, that's that's been a confusing <laughs> well, thing my, to me. What my, what my experience is is the guys that ride bicycles don't get on the trail to be a trail right next to them or a nice sidewalk and they're riding. They're not riding on it where they're designated to the bike lanes. They're riding in herds like a bunch of cattle <laughs> and they're going right down the county road and it's like, yeah. you could ride right there, dude. Yeah. 
but that's just so that's I venture people. to say that I'll live hopefully live long enough I'll see the trail go in and I'm still going to drink my coffee and get a chuckle out of the herds of bicycles going down 500 <laughs> and not on this nice trail you guys put in yeah. <laughs> Edward and Janet Moore they were gracious to they were the first landowners that provided us an easement through their property and their concern was they, they just didn't couldn't look in the mirror if somebody got into, you know, had to swerve off onto the county road from the existing trail when it went in. Um, so they were gracious enough to work with us. We did tell them we would divert the trail more out by County Road 500 as opposed to, you know, bordering their property. So that was going to be the next question. I say, I'd is, heard... that, is that the plan to stay out closer to the road or is there a plan there? Um... It's not set in stone. A lot of we would like to use like the bridge if there's if the bridges are sound enough. Once we have an engineer look at them uh, on those areas, so those would be closer to the railroad track. Uh, but no, we do not have a set in stone proposal for that. Because I mean, and you say you require easements from everybody here, but one. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's just, what I was curious about. Just, just this two miles okay, right here. So this is what you're concentrating on here. Correct. Okay. Okay. But I want everybody to understand what I'm saying there. I don't want you to no, feel I'm misled saying. by me on No, it. no, I get it. So you're It's talking. half of it. It's half of it. Okay. And okay. DNR has so that's guided the us. So to Cascade, or, yeah, yeah. Cascade Road, right? Yeah. DNR has guided us into doing that to get our grant because there's several more voids towards AMO. Mm -hmm. And then they said, come back, revisit it, you know, get the connective swath. But uh, get it. That was their recommendation is to connect to Lambert Park. So. I, no, I, I feel think, encouraged with that when I hear yeah. the representative say that. Well, I think that would be a good thing for the town. Mm -hmm. We just got to get it in the right form or fashion. Figure out how to. Now, let me ask you this: Who does the engineering? You guys do the engineering study. We and did everything. do it all. Yep. So you would do the engineering study to look at getting it around Michigan and coming that way. You guys are going to do all that legwork and then come back and present it to town council or to this board. Yeah. What 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 I need is general support to even process the grant and then once the grant award is done we would solicit for an engineering service as part of the grant so the engineering design would be the start of implementing the trail and that cost is offset by this next level trails grant also so we would not initiate that engineering work until the grant award was finalized and then i guess my next question would be so we do let's say we do run it and we go around Michigan and we come down the sidewalks and we come we come down here to the state sidewalks or whatever and we run out to go out of town. Technically the state is already responsible for their sidewalks because it's state road and state sidewalks. I'm assuming that would be the, the case on 39. They're responsible for the maintenance and keeping them the upkeep. From Michigan Road or all along Michigan Road, then whose responsibility does that come to maintenance those once it's put in is that back fall back to the town to keep that up in that section or does that stay on your guys' so, budget to so, maintain it so the trail itself uh the next level trails it's the trail is supposed to be in perpetuity we have to maintain it a minimum of 30 years okay. i can tell you our department i, I don't think it's going anywhere <laughs> we're, we're a growing county and uh, but that is part of the next level trails we've applied for another grant and we're getting a, a land and water uh, grant at WS Gibbs Memorial Park and that ties that in permanently so um, but this grant has a minimum of 30 years of maintaining on next level trails so you'd maintain those sidewalk that section of sidewalk roadway it's whatever it's designated, it's designated. Yeah. correct and then if the town had to repave that road for whatever reason of paving because we just paved Michigan Street a couple of years ago and it was one of the streets because Deb, Debbie was working on that one when she was in on the a couple board. of years ago that's about five or seven <laughs> whatever <laughs> it all runs together every day when you're having fun i thought i was the guy who did it here <laughs> got a question years right ago. Ago. a couple yeah. years ago yeah, that's at least seven <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> what i was thinking <laughs> Mm -hmm. so we're trying to figure out which side, where would that path be? 
Well, we don't want once they get it. It won't affect that building you're talking no. about. No, no, because he's he's going to go Michigan to Iowa, then down to Kentucky and over. So your building is right next to Michigan on the other side of Iowa from this. We're going to stay on this side of the road. The other side of is he's going to stop at Lambert Park on this project. Okay, I see what you're saying. He's going yeah. from Lambert Park West on this I project. Was to follow all of that. Yeah. But it's still a good Especially discussion. For no, I agree. it is. I agree. I agree. I don't know these people. So. No. Yeah. It's and, and would it make more sense to stay on the west side of Michigan Street right there? So when you're going around the, the bend, you're not. Yeah, that's, that makes more sense to A blind you. side. This is, this is where you're trying It would. Are. I've watched people walk. Yeah. Most everybody walks on, would be the north side of. So if you're going east and west, where the sidewalk ends, and you're going west, everybody stays on the north side of that road. Mm -hmm. So which would bring you around to the west side of the north-south part of, okay. of it. So I assume Even you guys... just knowing the terrain over there, you're much better to develop the north side of Michigan Street around that mm -hmm. bend and going over. Obviously, you'll we'll have to get surveys and easements from those property owners. Um, yep. But, uh, Gee, Dick, that puts you right back They can't it. move it hardly because there's a light pole in the way. No. <laughs> I mean, so, I guess you could, but so there's a... Like, the I'd like that. Along that existing tree line just north of all those buildings right there. Here? Yeah. Is into the back side of Lambert and then coming up through the bottom? That is hard. that out of the question? Well, this is... This is Tony Marin's property, and he's he's saying right now he doesn't want this okay. trail okay. coming through here. I got gotcha. you. So he owns he owns this lot and yes. this and then these businesses. Okay. So to put the trail here would split his properties yeah. in half. That makes sense. Or not half, but so when we own the town owns this spot and then the park, and but then this isn't owned by the town. Here, this is again another property owner. So okay. the only other way to potentially, do you mind if I go through? I don't mind. Go ahead. No, go ahead. The only other way to come in would be to use the easement off this county road, and then come into Labor Park. We still have to get access here. Have to come up uh, through here. <clears throat> and I know there's a lot of work that we would have to do, drainage work and other things there. So, yeah. so that area that you're talking about coming out huh? and, and being perpendicular. I think Anthony Moran knows. This is all Tony's. Yeah, yeah. Tony's. Yeah. Tony yeah. yeah. That's the storage. Yeah. He owns clear with this double. Yeah. Well, his sister owns them now, then. I don't know. And I, I noticed on the map, everybody can. He's got a personal path over there. I understand. That's his property. Yeah. 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 I mean, his yeah. office is. He just walks out his side door and goes to the office. Straight to his work. Yeah. That's it. Good setup. Second generation, his dad owned that before him. So, yeah, that is a, a, a way to do it, and we do have an easement through there, right close to that first right house, the, uh, the sewer pipe. easement. Ah, right. So but. the sewer pipe goes straight. Okay, right this way. Yeah. So if we did that, then could we then could we continue the trail then coming come up, up to Michigan and, and come out park. that way if Moraines would work with us that way. I don't see why not. Yeah, that would eliminate your corner issue. Right, that would definitely eliminate and, that. And I have a lot of concern if we stay on the the county road. All of those residents along there are, are very close proximity, and we'd be right in their front yard. I, I have concern for that right. from day one. And there's yeah. 14 of them or something through there. That's right. quite the hurdle to overcome. <laughs> right. That's why I was asking if you could. If, I mean, I'm sure you're not opposed to however, but future project could go east if we come out of the park and went down Michigan, like mm -hmm. we were just talking, continued, and then come back around through town, down 39, however, yep. down, the, down the sidewalks that are existing. I see no problem with that, with doing that on the next second phase, I guess, the east phase. Are, are you asking? Yes, I'm asking you yeah, your opinion I think of that, that. I think that's fantastic. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a lot simpler. It is simpler. There's some, some hurdles to get through with working with the Marines and well, maybe, we, we maybe it's something that we, I'm we, guessing Tony would be much happier with a 10 foot path here compared to yeah. there. So, was that even? I didn't even think of that about no. this op option. 
Well, how much? Along the right of way. We have enough right away there to do that. Yes. Okay. And then the next question would be. Ryan, is there enough right away next to the county road to put it there? But the county would have that asset, correct? Or is yeah. that the town no, that that's has? County. That's county. Yeah, that is county. Is that county? Mm -hmm. I don't uh, know. No, no it's that was it's town. It's town from right here, over. Okay. Because so five hundred south becomes, becomes town property at this point. Okay. I thought they had the south. Let's see what no, would be the south can't, side. They of the don't do they that can't split that anymore. Now it's, okay. Now once it approaches our the state, the law changed to where now once they so we have both into, sides. We have both sides of the okay. road. You have to take the whole road. Yeah, you okay. have to take the whole I road. I just heard that mentioned. There used to be, yeah, because when we plowed snow, there used to be an argument over who, believe it or not, they argued over who would plow it. Yeah, yeah you used to own half and the other yeah. jurisdiction on the other half. We would, we would plow going west and they plowed going east. It was the stupidest thing in the world. <laughs> they still plow all of it now. Yeah, I know. They still so do. They're very nice to. to so what? What's that? That's the doubles. I think well, Dwayne Lane was the first to be simpler is if you can solicit rain and to let you go down that railroad. He will. He will. No. No. He, no. He, he, he was against it previously. He's against it now. Yeah, he'll listen, but he's, you know, he's not going to play ball. It'd be simpler to go. Yeah, maybe. Well, I mean, we need to. Maybe the, we need to approach him, one of us. Or you, whatever, I'll needs to again. needs to approach him and just say, "Hey, we had a thought." Mm -hmm. I mean, so we already have a sewer easement that comes all the way out to the doubles, the five hundred there. Yeah, the sewer yeah. easement. Because the there's right by um, Stevens Pond, there are two manholes, right. and coming straight south is the sewer pipe that connects with this the then sewer pipe that goes in front of all these doubles. So so it comes the all the way down already. Right along this way. And there's a manhole in the middle of this person's driveway and so but yeah it so depending on where that sewer line would be flat we need like 20 25 feet for construction the trail will only be 10 when it's done yeah the, the, the problem is crossing the old railroad bed yep. there's a creek and stuff back there there's yeah but i mean you could build a small gonna, walkway it's, bridge. Not, it's not a bit of oh yeah yeah uh, you know box it's not it's not smooth terrain through those trees in that creek no, but a dozer, a dozer, and uh, it, some it wouldn't take that much to, to fix that with <laughs> no. Equipment. I mean, like I said, it, but the, the question is, what does the easement actually say? Because if it only says you can run a utility on it, a trail is not a utility, correct? Yeah. I mean, it is not classified as a utility, right? Well, we'll, but we'll have a conversation and see. Yeah, you just gotta have a conversation. I was, that was just a question. I had. That that would be a preferred route over going on Michigan Street. To me, because as people drive through the area, they're going to say, oh, that trail just ended right at Buck Arnold's property. They're not going to know. You know, mm -hmm. I can park at Lambert Park. We're going to put signage up. But if it's running along that county road and coming in, they're going to say, oh, it connects to that park. We can go around there and park. So I think it, it, it's more oh, of I, 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 I think that's an option if Tony's willing to If he's to willing. That. If not. Yeah, if not, then your other option is Michigan. Mm -hmm. Right, which we could paint even though, I don't know how you would do that. Even if you didn't have the right of way, I guess you'd paint like, not a solid like a bike lane but you could put like dashed white lines and put the little symbols for people walking right enough, i mean i don't know if there's enough room on that north side we could put additional sidewalk in too yeah i don't but know you're how saying much. the landowners all along their own halfway into the road there's no well you'd have to go back and pull the all this all the legal descriptions and see what's in there those legal descriptions it's the old style legal descriptions yeah, your your new your new descriptions start right here. My house. It Nick's house and the lot across the street. Okay. Everything going west this way is under the old land descriptive to the center of the road. All right. It makes things like setbacks for buildings very really interesting. interesting. Yeah. I've read a, over my career a lot of legal descriptions. <laughs> Here's another question. Just another question, if they're willing to buy ground, would would the Tony be opposed to selling? So you come up Michigan just a little bit and then go straight behind These houses. those houses and the new lots he just sold, 
and running it right there. I don't know I if he'd be willing to lose I that don't much. Think he'd be willing to I don't yeah. Know. I bet he'd rather have it in the railroad bridge. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm just asking. I was just, I was just looking at that. Like, you're right, but yeah. Yeah, I was actually surprised when, you know, although he, you know, carved off those three. If if I would have done it, I'd put a little cul-de-sac in there and put a like six slots in that property behind him. And, yeah. Because he doesn't cut it up anyway. I mean, once, once the trail is installed, it will increase residential values. That's a fact. Now sure. it may not to a particular person. Some people may. Be opposed well, to it, not my house because of that. Our, our home values are through the roof. <laughs> everybody. Because everybody wants to live in, in Clayton or the surrounding area. <laughs> I think that's all of Hendricks County. Yeah. Uh, I don't know certain houses, though. All right, so going forward, Jeff, you're going to have a conversation with I'll Tony. Call, I'll call Tony. About They're on this the option. East. Yeah. And then we're also going to contact somebody about the option of what are the legal easements that we have around Michigan Street? Yeah. Well, I would. Have I'd have the the park district pull that if you could do that. Sure. Um, uh, we have a right of way agent for other land. I'll just ask if he can do that for us. Is that correct? That well potential. Well if if this doesn't work, then that's our backup. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Anything else? No, I think that's a. I think there's two options there. Um, I don't, I don't think there's any consensus here that we're opposed to the trail at all. Good, thank you. Um, I, you know, and we can, we can formulate a, a a letter to the board so that you can get something from the board. You know that we've given you a couple options of of how we'd like to see it run, and and we're researching those. How we want to, you know, one if that's worded or something like that. We can we can handle that so that you've got a letter of recommendation from us that we're willing to okay participate. I don't want to say participate, but willing to uh, accept the, the into the park. I think that's a connection into the park that's vital. Fantastic. Anybody got any questions or comments about this? I think we explored a lot of avenues with it. No, I think it's, uh, yeah. And again, if we, we want to be good neighbors, our park board has the ability to do eminent domain, obviously, Chris do. We don't want to do that. That was a misconception. I think prior to my time here, and it, it rubs people the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Maybe if it was one minor parcel from keeping eight miles going, that'd be an avenue that would be discussed. But if we can plant trees, if we can put concrete aprons in, access, uh, we'll include that with, with the grant. Okay. Anybody have any questions? We'll let this gentleman go home, and we will. Uh, anything you come up with, let us know. Contact Jeff. He sure. will keep us all informed. Um, will do. And uh, if there's anything we can do to help you, let us know. Um, but I, I think as a general consensus of, the, of, of this uh, building and planning board, we, we're interested in the park in its, you know, as it runs through town to the benefit of the town, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that's a, a good option. Fantastic. Thank you all very much. I appreciate everybody's time. And I know there's there's a way to achieve this, but it doesn't happen happen without uh, you know some give and take. And I appreciate sure. the, the support. So I will leave a couple business cards on the counter here. Another quick Thank question you. I just happened to think of, and I'm assuming we're probably already paying for this as taxpayers. But if we do put a trail in that's not existing currently, is there any additional tax that you would be see be seeking from the well, town of Clayton? Or it's already paid for through our county tax. Yep, yep. Now, currently, the town of Clayton benefits uh, by having a park. We get money from the county. Thank you. Is this trail going to like edify that, or is that a completely different? Mindset? Oh, okay. That would not be a question for me, but I would say it would not increase. I would say it would say it would stay the same. Yeah. Is okay. that a food and beverage, or do you? It just, I mean, I know in our general fund, it just comes in as payment for park. having a park. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a, yeah, I don't remember exactly what that's classified as. 
Let me ask another question. We have an interpretive naturalist group. Uh, we get the trail installed. Would you be opposed to Hendricks County Parks doing some partnership programs? I know you had like the block party I attended a couple of years ago. Uh, where we would have our naturalists come out and they would do like a program at the park and then maybe walk some of the trail. We would probably incorporate uh, them with that to a certain extent. I, think, be I, don't think, I think that's use of the park and I think that's a good thing. I really do. That, that would be more of a town council decision, but I, I think as a, as a planning board, I don't think we'd have an issue with that. Um, you know, one time we actually had some eagles in that big tree. They nested in there one year. Oh, so, cool. I mean, it's just, but yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a great idea. Fantastic. We get um, a large portion of our budget from the innkeepers and food and beverage, and food and beverage has, is unbel <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, it has changed our department in a good way. And you would think COVID it would tank, mm -hmm. but it stayed consistent through COVID, and now it's like off the charts. But, really? Okay. But that council supports us, and they give um, they give so much to visit uh, Hendricks County, and then they split the rest between the fairgrounds and our parks department. So that helps us out tremendously, and it doesn't take from the general fund either. So it's a good thing. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Ryan. I just got one quick update I can sure. give everybody. I don't know if you've been uh, watching, but they have been working back at the Clayton Cafe. Yeah, I've seen the it, trucks there. So yeah. they're, 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 they're making progress to try to get that back open. So I, They ripped out the ceiling. Well, that was because uh, they had a water leak. The entire leak. ceiling, they ripped it out. They had a water leak, <laughs> and it so took out all the, the ceiling. ceiling, so. Wow. But they're going to put they're gonna put a drop ceiling back in there. They're not... It, I wish they'd open it up because it, it puts a much bigger space in there. They aren't going to be opening any time. They've got a lot of work to go, but if, if they could stay on the job, I can see it done in you know, a month or six weeks. But if they get pulled off again, but. And it's still planning on being just a, like a general yeah. type restaurant. Mm -hmm. They've sorted all their other difficulties out with the ventilation and everything so far with they still have to get it inspected but yes i i still, believe they have okay are they still leasing the top of it yes okay well good oh i know there was some pretty i don't want to say serious but significant issues to the ventilation and that for the griddle the, the, yeah they, in fact if you go by they, they, they vented out to the back of the building already. oh have they okay it's been, I had, that's been a change yeah, I, I didn't sing that yeah, yet new Hood and then goes out to the, back. To the north. To the okay. north under okay. from underneath the stairs. So it's it's no longer this Yeah. Under the stairs. Bend under the decking right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep, I, I think there's a couple things and they're gonna enclose that area so nobody can walk underneath oh. that as well. So good. No, none of the general public anyhow. Right, right. It'd be a service access. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they're, they're making progress. Um no other petitions coming before me for either planning commission or, or zoning at this point in time. I may have, um, I've talked to one individual that would need a setback relief. Okay. Um, for a, and um, he'd need a uh, variance to do a duplex where I'm in there, so. Okay. Speaking of that, I would have any, heard any more about the additional um, ones down here for Dwayne that he has that they haven't broke ground on yet? Since I met with him November time, I haven't heard any additional. Okay. I know he had three or four projects going and he was trying to buy another piece next to you, just to the east of you. Yeah, he got I don't the, know if he closed on that yet or not. I know he got the deal done. I don't know if he actually got Closed, yeah. Closed, I know. He, he was trying to, what he wanted to do on that property and the others, he was trying to put a bigger project so his crews would be all there right. at once. Right, time. So. Makes sense. Yeah. I would guess he'll be back talking to us at springtime. Okay. Okay. All right. How's everything going with the drains, the surface drains in town? I don't know that they're going that great. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad now. I mean, by us. well, now my you—that's all new drainage. Um, 
I don't know, we don't have any current projects for surface drainage right now in town. Um, we're still fighting uh, a lot of infiltration with our sewer system. So we've got to figure out where that's coming from. And that might, that may entail, lead us back to some surface drainage. Mm -hmm. See sure. what I'm saying? But I, I will stop talking to George. It's down. Is it? Really? You know, with the manhole rehab, the amount of uh, infiltration is, is, is down. That's good. So we're going in the right direction. Yep. It's not eliminated it. But it's but it's getting better. Have we got plans to pick up on that again? Or? Um, we got a, we're, we're trying to figure out where it's coming from. We think it's coming from some manholes. But Massive infiltration during high water. It's when we get the heavy rains. It's, 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 but even this last heavy rain and stuff, he was able to divert it. And we didn't peak. We didn't. He, well, we didn't send. He right. cheated. He pushed it back into the town, but yeah. Well, sometimes you got to cheat. <laughs> yeah, as long as it doesn't come too far back. So he has a plan on how to. He's working on finding that. So well, he's, that's good. He's going to do some dye testing and uh, stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anybody got anything else? Are we going to pick up? annexation at all this year? I am working on some annexation things. Give me some time. I'm trying to put some paperwork together. I've been talking to a couple landowners. Okay. I just didn't um, know if there's anything that we needed to, to do to help with no, that. No, this is a... So the, the, with the development of the fire territory has caused some people to contact me about annexation. Um, so I'm having some conversations. And Jeff and I had one in the shop the other day. I've asked him for some information. Um, and I'm hoping maybe one will help drive the other a little. Uh, so it was positive in, in It there. was positive, but it was, it's almost a, look, if we're going to do it, let's just get this done attitude. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that will help. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. I was just curious if there was yeah. something we needed um, to help with. Or but I need, I need to, I need to, I need some better understanding. And that's where I asked Jeff as to what, um, what the rules are and where can we, how far can we push mm -hmm. in one push? Mm -hmm. The way I understood it, as long as it touched the town, like, let's I understand. multiple parcels at once. But it's the Teams problem that are is owned by the same owner. There, yeah. yeah, it's multiple parcels owned by one landowner. So does that affect that or does not? And that's that's right. the question I've asked you. I, that one guy that was in here, the way I understood it, it was the same landowner. And it would touched already. You could go as far okay, as so super voluntary, but it is, that's just it is, my understanding. It is the same landowner, but it's different LLCs to some degree. And, and some so of it is in, in my past, and I need to talk with our attorney to get a. a it sometimes it depends on the attorney's interpretation of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's there's some conversation cool. going there. I'm, I'm. Like I said, it come out of the blue. No, that's but fine. I, mean, I just wanted to keep. Know, if there was something we needed to do no. to help you or to help whoever else really was working not, it's, on. It's, it's, it's kind of a hurry up and wait. I need some answers so I can go back and talk to them some more. Um, they're wanting some guarantees on some of the stuff we talked about, about the state law and the tax rates and stuff like that. So I've got to, we're going to have to work through that. But I want to make sure I understand what I'm talking about before I go talk. Right, that makes because sense. Because I don't, yeah. So. Anything else? That's all. I'm going to call the meeting at 7 o'clock or 7.03, something like that. Thank you for coming, guys. Ah. Yeah. Thank you,